Hole number one, par four. Back tees, 373 yards. Middle tees, 338 yards. First hole at Pebble Beach is a short but relatively difficult par four. It's a must to get the ball in the fairway, which usually can take a long iron or a three wood. If you're in the rough, it's impossible to get the ball in the green in your second shot. You have a bunker in the front left and a deep bunker on the right, which you must avoid. So take the three wood, drive the ball in the fairway, medium iron to the green, a couple putts for par, maybe a good chance for a birdie. Great shot, right down the middle.
Super shot. Great birdie. You played better than I expected. Hole number two, par five. Back tee, 502 yards. Middle tee, 439 yards. Second hole is a short par five, and it's a must birdie. Although the fairway is pretty wide, you have to drive the ball in the fairway to be able to clear the gorge that sits about 100 yards short of the green. To drive the ball in the rough, you're gonna have to lay it up with a tough third shot to a pretty narrow green. Get the ball over the gorge in your second, relatively easy birdie. Great shot, right down the middle. Super shot.
Great birdie. You played better than I expected. Hole number three, par four. Back tees, 388 yards. Middle tees, 341 yards. Third hole is a relatively short par four, although again, you must get the ball in the fairway. Requires a draw off the tee with either a three wood or a driver. Get the ball down on the left side. You want to avoid the right side, the rough on the hill, for it'll leave you no second shot at all. So a draw around the corner, leaves you a wedge or a nine iron up to the green. Relatively flat green with a good chance for a birdie. Great shot, right down the middle. Hole number four, par four, back tees, 327 yards, middle tees, 303 yards. Fourth hole, the shortest par four on the golf course, requires an iron off the tee, unless the wind's coming off the ocean into your face, then you might want to hit a driver. You have to avoid the pot bunker on the left, because you won't be able to get to the green in two. 
but a ball in the fairway leaves you a wedge, maybe a little nine iron into the green. Good chance for another birdie. Great shot, right down the middle. Great birdie. You played better than I expected. Hole number five. Par three. Back tees. 166 yards. Middle tee, 156 yards. The fifth hole is a good par three. It plays uphill, although the wind usually is behind you off the ocean. The idea is to take enough club to make sure you get to the green for the tendency is to be short with the hole playing uphill. Uh, get the ball on the green, make two good putts on a fairly undulated green, and come away with a good par.
Hole number six, par five. Back tees, 516 yards. Middle tees, 487 yards. Although the sixth hole is about the same yardage as number two, it is definitely a three shot par five. The change in elevation is about 150 feet from where you drive your ball to where you place your second shot up top with a good shot to the green. The idea is to get the ball in the fairway, carry a long iron or a three wood up top where you're going to have a wedge to the green with a good chance to make a birdie. Try now it hit me on this hole. Great shot, right down the middle. Great birdie. You played better than I expected. That shot could definitely swing the momentum my way. Hole number seven, par three. Back tees, 107 yards. Middle tees, 103 yards. Seventh hole is one of the greatest holes on the golf course. A little short par three, depending on the wind conditions coming off the ocean, you can play anywhere from a sand wedge to an eight iron, even to a four iron. Uh, it's only about 120 yards but you definitely have to get the ball on the green. You have the ocean, you have bunkers left, right, and short. If you come away with a par in this little hole, you've got a darn good score.
super shot. Hmm, I missed it just a little. Great birdie. You played better than I expected. Hole number eight, par four. Back tees, 431 yards. Middle tees, 405 yards. The eighth hole is a very difficult par four. You want to avoid going through the fairway and into the ocean. The fairway ends about 260 yards off the tee, so the normal play off the tee would be a three wood. Brings you to a second shot, which you have to again carry the ocean over the cliffs to a very small green with a big bunker on the right and obviously the ocean on the right. Usually a middle to a long iron is required for your second shot and a four here is a very good score. Can you take the pressure of an imminent victory? Great shot, right down the middle. Drained it. Nice putting.
Hole number nine, par four. Back tees, 464 yards. Middle tees, 439 yards. The most difficult thing about the ninth hole is it's the only hole in the golf course that really doesn't have a lot of definition off the tee. There's two fairway bunkers on the left that you can't see, but you have to keep your drive to the right of them and out in the point. That creates a long iron second shot to a green that sits down in a pocket right by the ocean. A big deep bunker to the left you have to avoid and you have to avoid the ocean on the right. It's almost, well for most players it's a layup hole, try to chip on, one putt make your par.
Hole number 10, par 4. Back tees, 426 yards. Middle tees, 395 yards. The 10th hole at Pell Beach is really all in the tee shot. You have the ocean to the right, which you must avoid, but you have a big bunker on the left going nearly 100, 120 yards, which you also want to avoid. Get the ball in the fairway, you have a nice opening to the green, get a medium to long iron second shot, get it up on the green or just short of the green, easy chip up, one putt for par. Hole number 11, par 4, back tees, 384 yards, middle tees, 374 yards. The tendency on the 11th hole is to drive it to the right. The tee sets you up over there, but you'll be in the rough. You want to keep your drive over to the left, just right of the fairway bunker, which sets you up with a middle, middle to long iron into the green, very short green, but make sure you carry that bunker on the right. You need enough club to get it there in your second shot. Easy par four, good chance for a birdie.
Hole number 12. Par 3. Back tees, 202 yards. Middle tees, 184 yards. 12 is probably one of the toughest par 3's in the golf course. You have to carry the ball about 200 yards, make sure you carry over that big bunker in front of the green, but to a very narrow green that's usually firm and sloping away from you. Take one more club, hit it high, get the ball to stop, make a good par and go on to the next hole. Hole number 13, par 4, back tees, 392 yards, middle tees, 373 yards. 13th hole is a fairly short par 4. The only trouble is avoiding the bunker on the left off the tee that runs the whole length of the fairway. Get the ball in the fairway off the tee, you have a middle 7-8 iron into the green. Green slope's pretty hard right to left, so keep your second shot a little to the right, get it on the green, you'll have a relatively good chance for a birdie. Great shot, right down the middle.
Great birdie. You played better than I expected. Hole number 14, par 5, back tees, 565 yards, middle tees, 553 yards. 14 is by far the longest hole on the golf course. Uh, drive the ball in a fairly wide fairway. Anywhere out there is fine. Hit your second shot. Make sure you keep it in the fairway because the green is elevated. With that huge bunker in front, you have to carry the bunker on you with your third shot or you're just dead. Uh, wedge into the green, 9-iron third shot, get it on, two putts for par, you made a good par. Hole number 15, 
R4. Back tees, 397 yards. Middle tees, 366 yards. 15th hole is probably one of the more difficult tee balls on the golf course. You have OB to the right. For people who play the ball left to right, you have to avoid the big pines on the left. A straight shot with a long iron or a three wood is required here. A good nine iron, eight iron second shot into a fairly flat green gives you a good chance for a birdie. Hole number 16, par 4, back tees, 402 yards, middle tees, 388 yards. 16th hole is another relatively short par 4. You have to drive the ball about 200 yards to carry the big bunkers in the middle of the fairway. Get it out there about 240 off the tee and it'll set up about an 8 iron into a green that sits down among the trees. Make sure you get your second shot over the bunker to a relatively flat green, another good chance for a birdie here.
The next shot will determine your final result. Hole number 17, par 3, back tees 209 yards, middle tees 175 yards. 17th hole is a very difficult par 3. Uh, the right club selection is a must here. You have to get your yardage right. If the pin's on the left, you have about 20 feet to carry the ball. If you don't do that, you're either in the bunker short, the ocean left, or over the green in the back bunker. Very difficult shot, just make sure you get the right club. Three is a great score here. Hole number 18, par 5, back tees 548 yards, middle tees 538 yards. 18th hole, easily the signature hole of Pebble Beach. Uh, driver off the tee, just try to get it around those two trees in the middle of the fairway. 
Your second shot will be a layup of approximately 195, 200, 210 yards, another long iron. Setting up a wedge into a pretty flat green, just make sure you get your third shot over that front bunker, because if you don't, you're making bogey.